Upon entering the domain of any hardcore angler, you're going to find lures. 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 And more lures. Used lures. Unused lures. Lures in boxes. Lures on the floor. Lures hanging from walls. Lures in the planning stage. Lures about to be born. If I tried to count them all, I'd run out of numbers. And what's crazy is I'm still making more, searching for one with its own special magic. Is there a magic lure? Actually, yes, there is. It's called live bait. Yup, mother's milk. And if you can find a way to present it, and it's in really, really good shape, it is indeed magic. Just like that. Beautiful. You might say I've borrowed pages from places I've fished all over the world. And regardless of what you fish for, I think you will find it quite interesting. By the way, here's a little number I wrote that I'd like to dedicate to all the live bait fishermen in TV land. My bait died, it's barely up in the well, yeah. I said my bait died, barely up in the well, yeah. My girl's expecting fish for dinner This ain't working out so swell Now I went to the bait dealer Got bait suckers, you see, yeah I went to the bait dealer he had golden shiners for me When I bought fifty dozen fatheads He threw in a dozen crawlers for free Now I checked my aerator And it was bubbling just fine, yeah Clean all the filters and cleared out the line. And I put fresh water in the live well. It should have been just fine. Now my bait died. My middle dealer. He let me down, yeah I bet when he first called him He dropped him on the ground Somehow he overstressed my minnow Now they're bloated upside down I'll play the blues, man dozen years I've been messing with different ways to present live bait to muskies with the lowest possibility of damage to the fish. 
I've adapted some tricks from different disciplines into a system that's been so effective I almost hesitate to share it. And I ask that if you see it and try to steal it for your own commercial gain, to at least give me credit for showing it to you. Just like that. Beautiful. Before we go through the steps that led me to where I'm at right now with live baiting muskies, let's take a quick look at the existing systems. Oh, jeez, that was quick. All right, woo, hey, all right. I'm pretty sure the first live bait muskie guys used a plain hook, most likely buried in a sucker's nose. This hook soon evolved into a square version for better tracking and better hookups. If trolled, a sucker rig like this becomes lifeless, but worse, if the muskie gets the hook in his throat, his odds of survival are almost zero. Then came the quick strike rig, which involved adding a treble. It solved the gut hook problem, but when adding the treble, bait can get tired just trying to stay upright, much less remain strong if you want to drag it rather than sit still. I wanted a rig that would keep my bait strong and healthy so it would react when a muskie was nearby. I wanted something I could troll at higher speeds and something that would not endanger the muskie. My first inspiration came when I saw the bridled bonito rig used for black marlin. It involved a loop of strong floss attached to a circle hook and threaded through the eye sockets. There was literally no hook in the fish itself and it stayed alive and strong for hours, trolled at two knots plus. I began experimenting with bridled circle hooks for muskies. I trolled live bait on balloons and even used a kite, which was amazingly effective. <laughs> what that's was that? Wonderful. How many bites is that? Oh, that's number seven. This place is covered up with musky fish. We haven't seen a musky caught today. We've had seven bites in about 20 minutes doing this. It appears as though they've got uh, two, four, six, eight, eight lines, or six or eight lines out of the boat right now. So they're they're covering a mass area in one sweep. I got a small balloon on here, bimini twist, double nail knot, 30 pound wire, and I'm going to snell a, about a 7-0 circle hook on here. You snell it with wire just, just like you'd use, pretend you're using mono. I think we should set up right here, we've got a, a sharp brake line that comes out on a, on a weedy point. Bingo, bingo, bango. Got a little hook with a little floss loop on it. Now, 40 years ago or 50 years ago, everybody fished muskies with live bait. Nowadays, everybody uses artificials. And the reason for that is that there was a really high mortality rate using live bait for muskies. We're bridling our bait so it stays alive really well. 
and we're using circle hooks so we can let them eat it. And we got a situation where you might say it's live bait without guilt. Okay. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ideally, we'd have a wind blowing right into this shoreline. The muskies will lay up in two, three feet of water. Ideally, we could run this kite into three feet and then drag a harness bait on balloons. We got a kind of a goofy wind, but we'll just let this thing sit out here and see what he does. Nice and easy. I think, I think he dropped it. Nope, he still got it. He dropped it, he got it. He got it? Got a Maybe you want to crank up the kite. Bad muskie, and look how he's hooked. Perfect. This is really probably one of the best muskie lakes in the country now. To be honest, my hooking percentages were only fair at best with circle hooks, and some fish were hooked too deep, and that's just not acceptable. Then I had another inspiration. If I put the hook ahead of a bridled minnow far enough, it would be impossible to gut hook the fish. Plus, the bait would be red hot. Best of both worlds. The net it over the trolling motor. Yep. Too soon. Got him. It's hooked again and feels big. Did it work? We got bit like crazy, but we lost fish after fish. Why? I've been experimenting with live baiting muskies using a modified snelled bridle rig. We're getting bit like crazy because rigged this way, our bait seems to be getting stronger the longer we troll it. It's red hot. But we're losing half our fish. Then I figure out why. Here's why. Using an old catfish head to demonstrate. The hook would rotate so I couldn't catch them and they couldn't swallow the bait. So next phase. Prototype and shop, then on to a friend with a laser welder. Pretty cool, huh? And did it work? We found if we put the hook about one half to one third the minnow's length ahead of it, we got the best results. The further ahead of the minnow, the longer you have to wait to set the hook. Just like that. Nobody's the wiser. It's a pretty, pretty little guy. Just gonna dolly up. <laughs> See ya. Up you like go again. Look at the middle. You got the uh, Oh, bam! Wow, did you get that? I don't know. Oh. Do it again. Bring it back up. Bring oh, it back did you up. see that? That's what you're talking about. Let him, let it, he came out of his mouth and he came back and drilled it. Okay, we've had him for about 15 minutes. We've let him have it. We popped the balloon. He was pulling the balloon down. We didn't want to have him feel that resistance. Got him up to the top here. I'm going to, I'm going to net him myself, Barry. Oh, there he's Let's get a look at it. Let's let him swim around a little bit. Nice and thick, it's a big one.
<laughs> 25 pounder. Larry, we gotta deal with this fish. In the event a fish would actually get the hook down his throat with this setup, here's another very cool feature of my magic musky hook. Watch closely. It's a nice fat fish. Looking back. It's a nice fat fish, late in the year. She's ready, Lair. Now I want to show you the coolest, and actually my most favorite way to live bait muskies. No hook at all. With the help of my laser welding friend, I've worked out a unique hook that decreases throat hooking in muskies, plus even if it should happen is easily removable. But I've got an even better way. No hook at all. I'm not using a hook. And uh, normally you bridle them through the snoot. And it's strong enough that you can actually, you could cast a two pounder. But that one has uh, got a kind of a bad nose because we trolled him for a while the other day. The needle I'm using is just a mortician's needle that I made a little slot with, with it using a Dremel tool. So I just made a slot so you can thread this stuff through real easily. I've got a spot where I know there's a fish in a nest of logs. Any other way with a hook, I'd be hung up. I'm gonna slide a sucker in front of him with no hook in it at all. Just bridle it and let them eat it, like swallow it. And often, even if they spit it, you can get them to bite it over and over again right by the boat. Now remember, I don't have a hook in this bait, so I've got to let him eat it for quite a while. Now Josh's rig with the hook up front couldn't drift down into the logs because, well, obviously that hook would get caught. Killer for weeds, rips right through weeds. But anyway, now we've got to wait for this stupid fish to eat. And uh, what I should do, I should have a pellet gun with me right now and pop that balloon because I think if he gets into water that's deeper than the string I've got out, it's hard for him to swallow it every time they open their mouth when they're turning it to kind of get it down for the, the balloon helps pull it out. So if uh, you got a pellet gun, Josh. Now if I was using a hook, the odds of this fish being killed are really high. With no hook, I promise you, worst thing that can happen to him is he gets an old sucker for breakfast. What I need to do is be really close, yank him up, and get him in the net. <laughs> yep. See the little bumps on the balloon? Do you see that? Watch that now. See that? That's, he's eating it now. We're spitting it out. Here he is. Head first. Oh, right at the perfect there. moment. The sucker's yeah. out. Oh, he's so fresh. <laughs> All right, he's out of here. No need to revive that guy. Come on, musky, eat it. If the sun was out a little, I'd take my push pole and we could go look at him. But... Dragging a hot minnow is like having a Geiger counter. Minnows never lie. When they get nervous, there's a musky around, and you can bank on it. He's right there. Do, do what you're going to do. Fish, you guys. Holy smokers. You got to be hooked. Oh. Oh. Really nice one. Really nice one. Look at that hook job, guys. Nice. Oh. Yeah. Oh, 
that is the nicer. Yeah! <laughs> I got it, I got it. Wow! Look how fat! Josh, what's that, 98? Uh, 98. <laughs> Pretty decent musky. <laughs> I'd say. 98? It's 98. Great. When presented properly, live bait is effective year-round for all species of predators. In fact, sometimes it's almost cheating. That's why I quit using a hook. Please fish responsibly and release your muskies. Swimming away as strong as can be. All right, good old number 98. Thanks. <laughs> Again. <laughs>